All right, so here we are right after part one. White oh. clouds. Oh, Pegasus moon. Throne of knowledge. Right after where we were last time around during that uh, massive multi-level boss fight. Here the we northern go. lands are enveloped in a bitter cold and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, but the snowshoes is delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Pretty cool how the people of Fodlin go through all these different seasons and things. Like, I used to live in a place where it was definitely like that. You get full four on seasons, the whole the whole structure of how things went on would change over the course of the year. Young Kabachi said, hello, is this a new game? A brand new playthrough starting tonight, everybody. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> but of course. Super Bat Cat is here tonight and just tip me five dollars and fifty cents to become the top tipper of the night. Thank you, Super Bat Cat. Let's get you on the leaderboard there. Alright, we got five thousand gold for winning that last story mission. Oops, that what is that? That is not a dollar sign. That is a uh, the incorrect signage. There we go. Get us up to nine bucks so far tonight. Thank you guys. Okay, I have no idea what's gonna happen this month. Who knows at this point? This game is out of control. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? Oh. What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though. <laughs> as I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month, I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. Uh oh. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. Uh oh. The lady thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing uh. questionable, I should hope. Oh boy. That is enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. Who, the voice of Sothis that he's heard the entire game up to now? <laughs> I have been awaiting your arrival, professor. So now you have light hair permanently, Now that you have received huh? sacred power from the goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the holy tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the goddess. The holy tomb? The holy tomb is where the goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it. But there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There, may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. Do you think it's wise to bring them into this or a mission now? Say that. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students... Who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony of course as the leader of the church of seros i will be by your side as well strange or is it that too dangerous uh strange the occasion is too significant to be missed even if something were to happen I am more than capable 
of protecting my She's got a Gatling gun under that thing. Just... Changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Okay. So there's a ceremony at the end of the month. This is kind of a lame month. There's a ceremony at the end of the month when you're supposed to hear from the goddess. Like, wait a minute. You, you've been talking to the goddess the whole game. You know her personally. Right? <laughs> Alright, anyway. We've got a bunch of shout-outs here. Ryan to me, six bucks. Says, I'm going to bed soon, so you have a good night, Phil. Thank you, Ryan, for the, another tip. Uh, that is the top tip of the night. Appreciate it. You have a good night as well. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Cool. Gets us up to $15 in tips tonight so far. Thank you, everybody. And then... Then I screwed up the leaderboard. And then a super brown cow tip six dollars. The name is basically anime X. The game is basically anime XCOM. I mean, yeah, you're, you're pretty much dead on. Although, I disagree. I would say it's more anime-ish, uh, or what it is is more robust Final Fantasy Tactics. I actually think that the gameplay. Well, what happened to Brian's name? I think the gameplay is more similar to Final Fantasy Tactics than it was to XCOM. Um. What is going on? There we go. I think it plays more like Final Fantasy Tactics than XCOM, only it feels like a much more elaborate story with better character development and everything. Uh, Crowdcock, resubscribe for seven months. So good evening. What did you have for dinner? We had uh, slow cooker, chicken thighs, pulled. So the meat was slow cooked and pulled apart. And stewed in barbecue sauce. Had that on hearty rolls, like a sandwich, almost like a sloppy joe. You think I can do a pulled pork sandwich? Well, this is basically like not white meat chicken, but dark meat chicken that tastes better on a roll like that with homemade macaroni salad on the, uh, as, the, as the side course. It was crazy good. I love it when my wife makes this. It takes a, a lot of work, but it's worth it. It tastes so crazy good when she makes it, so. Okay. Um, yes, there are two Timbo Slices. There's Timbo Slice 89, uh, who's the person who joined me for uh, Street Fighter a couple times, and then there's Timbo Slice GB, the very longtime viewer and fan and supporter. So there you go. All right, are we ready? <clears throat> uh, get flowers. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Hilda? I didn't even know that girl's name was Hilda. <laughs> That's how much I pay attention to the people not in my party. I didn't even know that that was Hilda. Oh, what happened? Thank you. Oh, God, it was Hanuman. I should have had a tea party with Hanuman. That would have been fun. <laughs> Come on, Hanuman. Come on, bro. By fusing with Sothis and awakening the progenitor god's power, the SP obtained the certification... For the Enlightened One class. So there you go. That's what people were telling me is that there's going to be a better class there. later anyway. That's why they were telling me to get the faith levels up. See that? Yeah, his entire appearance changed. That's interesting, huh? So wait, what class is the Enlightened One class? Wait, what? He's currently an Enlightened One. So Enlightened One has a plus three uh, bonus to swords, plus two to melee, and that's the faith boost, I see. And also some leadership. A Holy One blessed with the Goddess herself, the Wielder of Magic has high overall stats. Like his stats weren't freaking high enough earlier. <sighs> now he's like ridiculously overpowered, right? So, if that's the case, Oh, okay. So, in reality, the light one's better. In reality, because this is only a plus three to swords, plus three to axes. Well, he's going to get plus three to swords, plus he's going to get a magic boost with the with enlightened one. So, makes sense to leave him as an enlightened one. I'm not going to change his, his class around or anything. Yeah. But I will try to keep, raise the, 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 the uh, faith stat. Because maybe he'll learn better spells and stuff, right? How about everyone else? Just to make sure no one's improved. Nah, I think we're all... We're all right where we want to be, right? Yeah. Eventually, we're gonna get to that last that last class uh, down there, but we're not, we're not there yet. And she made her a dancer, but she still has the magic, which is really cool. Flane isn't even close enough to being just the the, the, the secondary class, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so 
New month. Obviously, we're going to do exploration. First week of the month, you always do, right? Okay. Fire Emblem took me $6.01. It says, Fortune wants you to succeed. Keep up the great stream, Phil. This is funny because Fire Emblem General, it's called. Uh, I found that people were actually saying that there is a 4chan thread about Fire Emblem. And people were actually saying that they like my playthrough of this game and they want to see it continue and succeed. Which is nice if it is true. I don't know if it's supposed to be like true or sarcastic, but it's good to know that if there's a community of people who like this game and like to see different people play it and are enjoying my playthrough, I'm glad. I, I actually really like the game. I didn't know if I would, and I, overall, I'm really enjoying it, so I hope you guys are liking it. Um, but sadly now, this is way too effing long. So, I'm going to have to lower... I'm going to start Fire Emblem General. We're going to know your name is Fire Emblem General, but we're going to call you... Oh, shit. Oh, no. I dropped my keyboard. I smashed my fucking headphones. <laughs> I got to fix that. Okay. We're going to call you... Fire... Emblem General. Just like that, we're going to abbreviate it. So that way I have room on my leaderboard because my leaderboard is, uh... My leaderboard is too condensed. Well, too stretched out. It wasn't fitting. Um, yeah, I screwed up my headphones. Hold on. The keyboard smashed the headphones so hard they reset. They turned off and on again. <laughs> Great. Okay. So they get a Fire Emblem General. Oh, God, it did it again. What's going on? Oh, I know what it is. USB cord's loose. There we go. USB cord's freaking loose. Alright, I got it in there better now. For some reason, it's like twisted up. What is that for? Why is it twisted? Oh, God. The USB cord is fucking loose as shit now. What is that about? Hold on. Why is this so loose? What the hell? Dude, I don't know why the cord's so loose. That's not good. I never dropped it or anything. So I can't imagine why the cord is loose like that. Hopefully now it's, it's in there better. I think it is now. I think I just need to, like, fuck with it for a little bit. All right. Continuing on. Crabcock did 105-bit cheer. Said, I'm a bit out of the loop. What is going on? Oh, uh, no. Crabcock, we're not talking about that. I already said on pre-stream we're not. I don't even, even... I don't know the answer to that question. And I said people got to contact me behind the scenes if they want to talk about that. Okay. Because I don't know. I need someone who actually knows the situation to tell me what happened because I have no clue. Carlton Jr. Cheers. You probably have him as the Enlightened One class until the end of the game. In my, in my, it may behoove you to master other classes at some point for the permanent bonuses. Alright, we'll see. At this point, he's so ridiculously overpowered. I can't imagine needing to put him into other classes for more bonuses. I'm just saying. But I guess we'll see. Uh, Spartan King Cheers. He said, did you do a thorough band of dollar tippers? Why am I getting the same error message again? I did not do a thorough ban of dollar tippers at all. Um, but if someone went on there and said something insulting or something, I definitely banned them, you know? Um, I'm not sure, you know, wh wh how much you've been, you've uh, tipped recently or what you've said in your messages. I have no idea. I'm trying to think. I'm... <sighs> I think I might have banned one person earlier today who basically said my mods suck hairy asses. Which I didn't appreciate, but outside of that, I'm pretty sure I didn't block anybody uh, from tipping. So I have no idea what to tell you, Spartan King. I really don't. At this point, if you got blocked for tipping again, you might want to ask yourself, why you keep ha why does it keep happening? What kind of stupid shit are you saying? And you might want to stop it, because I'm not going to keep on banning you from over there. Dark Side Phil from 2010, she said, is the new drama about waifu invasions? Yes. Okay, anyway, I think it's time to explore. Finally. <clears throat> I can't hear so this is voice anymore. Well, it's because she, she's inside you. She, you absorbed her and turned her into a power boost, you, you greedy asshole. What did you think would happen? <clears throat> All right, well, we're going to do our usual. We're going to wander around and talk to everybody. Try to figure out what the hell is going on. Right? <clears throat> All right, who's the tournament this time? This is House vs. House Magic Tournament? Black Magic Tournament. Well, Dorothea is eligible. Only Dorothea? What the hell happened to Hubert? Uh, why in the holy hell isn't Hubert eligible? That's really weird. 
But I mean, Dorothea is A+, plus, so probably will win anyway. But that's pretty weird that, that Hubert's not allowed, huh? Okay. I remember she's the dancer class, but it doesn't matter. She's got crazy black magic, and she's so high level she can't even take damage from others. It's hilarious. Winning's always nice. Expand Dong. <laughs> what a name! So this is the one you have to speak to Edelgard while exploring. Don't forget. Oh, I always talk to Edelgard anyway, regardless. So, all right, try again. This is going to hurt. First hit, critical hit. It's the kill. Wow. Many skills, you know. Oh. Tor killed at 100 materials. If you like nothing, explain. Go with Edelgar. Uh. Okay. Don't know what that means. How do you deal five damage? Should we take this? I won't go down so. She's just slaughtering everybody. Hello, Ratty Bag. Good evening. Oh, uh, okay. Semi-finals? I probably won't even heal. Well, actually, I have two heals, right? So I might as well heal that. The Red Gamer 7 to be $2 said you're almost caught up to when I stopped playing a few months ago. It was like it's time to finally pick this back up so I can keep watching without spoilers. <laughs> cool. You know, I, I started playing this how many months ago? Two months ago, roughly, I think? I've been playing it on and off. Well, I've been playing it pretty consistently, so. All right, here we go. Ice is like an ice throw. Damn. All roses Completely have rock. Finals. Lysithea? What the fuck kind of name is that? Lysithea. I don't know if this will be quick. Watch. Oh my god. Goodbye. I won't go down so easily. Very nice. Oh yeah. Any chance of playing Kane and Lynch one? If anyone ever wanted to see me do that, maybe. Nice! Professor level up! B+. Plus. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on here? In town earlier? In town earlier. There seem to be more people around than usual. Hmm. Is there some festival this month that I'm forgetting about? Well, there's a ceremony that we're, we've been told about, but I don't know if they consider a public festival or not. Tranya, Solon, they're dead, but we still have a glut of enemies. We still have to take down the Death Knight and the Flame Emperor. Our next battle is fast approaching. I'm ready for it. When did we see Solon die? We didn't see Solon die, right? I don't know about that. Professor, please, if he hears it from you that he needs <sighs> to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. Don't overexert yourself. I must insist. Who do you think you are? I can take care of myself to do. All he does is he's caring about him, but he doesn't care, he wants to overwork himself. To... Okay. Um. All right. Let's just head south. Let's talk to everyone we come across as usual. We gotta go do some gardening, right? Raphael. You look so different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? <laughs> Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? Oh, my hemorrhoids disappeared. It's amazing. I haven't changed that That's much. Disappointing. What's even the point? Wow. Oh, seriously? So. Bernadette is back inside of her room again. So hungry. Oh, 
Is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. Jeez. It's got nothing to do with your, um, changes. Yeah, it does. So, um, don't open the door, please. She's terrified because he changed. Elon, just, you're, uh, you're cruising for abandon, so just keep it up and you'll see yourself, uh, you know, with, with someone's at or someone's boot firmly up your ass fairly shortly. Awesomeness Kaboom did a 200 bit cheer to become the top cheer of the week, or the top cheer of the day, night, excuse me. He says, Talk to Edelgard last, we'll give you a big choice decision. Oh, really? All right, thank you for the biggest cheer of the night so far. <clears throat> okay. There we go, thank you. Still depressing music. Ugh, you yeah. not. You're going to the ritual at the holy tomb, right? That's correct. I hear that a revelation from the goddess is expected. What if she shows herself? Oh, I'll be so jealous. Not me. I talk to a goddess every day. She's super annoying. <laughs> no desire to ever talk to, to a goddess ever again. I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, I don't know either. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> a grave, that much is for sure. And it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? Killer worms. I can't help but wonder. Earthworms. Just what kind of ritual is this? They suck your eyeballs out, man. Careful down there. Alright, some gardening. I got an ambrosia power up. We'll have to use that. I still can't do this one yet. Probably when I hit level A, I bet. If I hit A, I could probably do that. But I'll use the Caledonian soil. Drew Gasp, resubscribe for 10 months, and I hope you're, you're having a great night. I'm excited for Paper Mario. Uh, I'm excited for both new games this week because it's big variety. And I haven't played like a first-part Nintendo game, a new one, in a long time. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what they come up with. But at the same time, I've heard good things about Ghost of... Sushima, uh, yes? or is it Sushima? Hey. Delicious Sushima. I think it's delicious Sushima. Hi there. Hi there. Woo! Right, I'm gonna save up my bait. My recommendation. I was recommended that I save the bait up for a week when the golden water is there, because then you could get the best fish. In Bridget, we have legends, stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. That's crazy. Those spirit people have much strength. They are maybe able to fly in the air what? or race across the ocean. What is this crouching tiger, hidden dragon? Shines, and eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. Oh, you mean Saiyans? Gotcha. Perhaps. I do not have doubt, Professor. The powers you have are like the powers of the legends. Human Milks asks, can I be in the Moron Club? Be in the Moron Club? You're the leader of the Moron Club, son. <laughs> I don't know where you've been. They created that club just for you. You're the one who has to initiate everybody else. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Cat's Bar. Oh, here's an item next to him. Here we go. You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. Randy Big asks, can I be VIP? VIP of the Moron Club? You're going to have to ask a human milk, but I think he'll have you in there. Sure. You can be VIP. All right, there you go. If the vest was a piece of equipment in an RPG, what would its stats be? Max stats. When you put on the vest, all your stats go max. It goes boop. Max offense, max defense, max evade. Max everything. It's just basically style points go way down because the vests are ugly. But outside of that, everything else goes way up. But everything else, yeah, the, the style points go down. Trey, can you to me? I'll help you get there. You better not go easy on me. I need your training to be strict if I'm going to get any better. Okay. Oh, we got to do our dining, right? Oh, actually, hold on. We got to do our cooking for the month to do a boost, right?
I'm saving the Sacred Beast Rose for the end because you can only do it once with that Magdred Curse. I've only ever found one, so I'm saving it for the very end. Um, defense plus one, luck plus two, speed plus one. I just prefer speed plus one. I'll do this again. Sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice, and hey, no peeking. La, 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 la. Okay. Sparring King Chiri said, I would never say your mods suck hairy ass, but I wasn't even here for the earlier stream. I was tipping about the DSP tries it the other day. Yeah, and what did you say in your tip? Because I don't reckon, I don't recall that. So. Today's special is Garrig Mocked Meat Pie. All right, if it's their favorite, we'll give it to them. Have some meat pie. Yeah, it's eating time. Come on, let's dig in. Caspar, do develop table manners. Begin by chewing with your mouth closed, especially uh. when I'm around. <laughs> All right, full motivation. Very good. Ferdinand, well, Flynn's already maxed, so honestly, this would be a waste. Yeah. Edelgard and, nope, Bernadetta, Dorothea, Flynn are all maxed. Damn, it's going to be a waste. I need to find one that's for the two people who need it. Petra and nobody else. Ferdinand and, and Petra. Haha, -ha, there we go. There we go. Delicious. After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. I would be liking that greatly. Max that out. Max out the training stats. Only Iced Coffee just gives it a subscription to Sung Kwan. Congratulations, Sung Kwan, and thank you, Only Iced Coffee, for the support. I need, I need Bernadetta. There's no combination of her and another student. Now, did I say Bernadetta? I meant me. I meant Edelgard. I said Bernadetta like an idiot. You know what it is? I think Edelgard's the only one I really need anyway. So hold on a second here. We'll do Edelgard and, I don't know, Hanuman. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to train them anyway. There we go. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. When we used to eat this back home, we ate it like Ziggy Piggies, like this. <laughs> Sorbet flying everywhere. Oh, Hanuman, what the hell? What is going on? Okay. What happened here? Sparring King says, I can tell you all the ideas you have for DSP tries it. I mentioned shakaroni pizza, grilled cheese. Dude, there's no way I blocked I blocked your ability to tip based on that. There's no fucking way. Sammy, well, you gotta email me again. Your, your, your email address that you used to tip. I'll check it again. I'll try to figure it out. And this time, it was a mistake, Gray, but it was something that you said, and you just the second time I unbanned you, and you're still, like, saying messed up stuff. I'm not gonna unban this time. Um, alright, so Edelgard is there, so it's telling me there's a critical choice that I should talk to her last. Hey there. Those students of yours will soon graduate, and become unreachable royalty and nobility. You should show them respect now, or you might find yourself out of a job someday. <laughs> no. One look at your students' faces, and it's apparent that would never happen. Even when your kids graduate, I bet they'll still think fondly of you. You'll always be professor to them. Oh, what a nice thing to say. Elon just cheers. Did you like the quesadillas you made that day? They looked like they weren't very good. Taco Bell might have been better. Oh, what are you talking about? When the hell did I make quesadillas? 
Only Ice Coffee, give this up to TM52 Twitch. Thank you, Only Ice Coffee, for the support. Hello there. No, King Michael, I did not like Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. I thought it was one of the stupidest games I'd ever played. You've been granted this power by the goddess herself. Truly, you must be a very special individual. Maybe Saros transformed before receiving her revelation, too. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about that before. Maybe that part never found its way into the legend? It is told that Saros had a revelation, instructing her to use her power for good, and to lead the people of Fodlin to salvation. I wonder what sort of revelation you might have, Professor. Well, that wasn't very riveting. <laughs> oh! Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Again. Although, I suppose, you are something to report. For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. It took only that single moment for me to recognize you. <laughs> the Professor went out and got some new power. When I did DSP... When I did Poorly Cooking with the King, I made quesadillas. Poorly Cooking with the King, a series that I stopped 10 years ago. You actually want me to remember how something tasted that I made 10 years ago. You're serious about this. By the way, something that I only made the once. Hey, welcome. Oh my god. Come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I thank you. Return anyway. soon, please. <laughs> anyway. Alright, no. maybe I'll see if I can repair stuff. Hey there. That stuff's fine, I would say. Her axes are fine. Maybe everybody's fine, pretty much. All right. Once again, I guess to say her iron bow. Is this it? There you go. Outside of that, everyone else seems okay. Is this it? There you go. Prepared the rapier. Uh, just then, just then, get her, just then, get around. Just subscribe to the channel. Apologies, I, that was a tough name to say. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Kyle, just give the sub to Isle of Dusty Roads. Congratulations, Isle of Dusty Roads. Thank anytime. you, Kyle, for the support. <clears throat> okay. So that's Edelgard in the center. Let's go around the edges and talk to everybody else. You there. I recently had an errand to run. And so I had to pass by the- I didn't mean- Actually, oh, it shit. was more like Sedith was interrogating Lady Rhea. I did not mean to do that. So the professor went on got some new- Oh wait, I recently had an errand run, so I had to pass by the office. I didn't mean to. I overlay Rhea and Sedith arguing. It was more like Sedith was interrogating Lady Rhea. Okay. That's interesting, because we kind of saw part of that conversation. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes' relics. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? Is the world different outside of Fodlan? You see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring west of the Empire. All right, we're gonna try to train with Faith. If you remember, I'm trying to get my Faith levels up. There's only two Faith trainers: Manuela and uh, Rhea. And then you gotta sing. <clears throat> Ooh! Ooh, to you too! The hell? Hello there. Hello. Nice hair. Let me consider. Sometimes I find myself thinking I should leave Garrick Mark and return to my home. Where I should have been all along. Hmm. I killed Phil Chase to the chest bonkers. How's the game going? So far so good. Where should, where should you have been? I'm sorry. It's a silly thing. An old man's ramblings and nothing more. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodlan's people. 
Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. Oh, uh, I... King Michael, there's no way they're making a Shadows of the Damned 2 this late. No effing way they're gonna make a sequel now. Monica. No, Pranya. Pranya is dead. And so is Solon, by your hand. Taking vengeance about that. with your own hand. I'm sure Gerald would be proud. Alright. Nobody else here? Wait, there is. When you changed, even the other professors were taken completely by surprise. There's a ritual at the Holy Tomb this month, isn't there? I wonder what'll happen with that. I'm sure you'll be all right. But don't lose sight of who you really are, okay? However you may change, and whatever new power goes along with those changes, you'll still be the same person deep down. Remember that. Nope! Completely changed from the inside out. Completely wrong. In our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down, not least the Flame Emperor. <laughs> Once we've crushed them all, we can return to our peaceful lives at the monastery. It will happen soon. <sighs> I have a feeling something big is coming. Yeah, we still don't know anything about the Flame Emperor at all. The Flame Emperor doesn't seem to be in line with the other villains. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Ago, Saint Saros was gifted with a divine revelation from the goddess, as well as incredible power. Incredible power! power! Did that happened to you too, Professor? No way! The professor transformed before receiving any kind of divine revelation, right? <laughs> Still, I wonder, <clears throat> does the fact that you've changed really mean you've been granted some kind of power? If that's the case, then what sort of revelation can be gained from the ritual? I'm guessing the revelation will just be a gentle reminder to use this new power to save the people of Fodlin. What else is there to say? You don't actually believe we're going to hear the voice of the goddess, do you? <laughs> well, we already talked to a goddess, but we haven't told anyone, so it's not too far fetched. <clears throat> Did Hanuman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I have a bit of research I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanuman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. Okay. Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Only Ice Coffee can do this up to Locutus of the Poor. Congrats, Locutus. Thank you, Only Ice Coffee, for the support. But you're adult, you're 100 bits, and in your expert opinion, what are your two most favorite iconic wrestling moves? His is the tombstone and the classic elbow drop? I have no idea. <laughs> I'd have to really think about it for an extended period of time. I don't really want to be thinking about a repertoire of wrestling who's playing this RPG tonight. Oh, Professor! Oh, I'm sorry. That was rude. I didn't recognize you for a second. All right, I haven't changed on the inside. Isn't it weird? I haven't changed on the inside. <laughs> I guess you're right. If I look hard, I can still tell it's you. Nothing there. All right, we should probably go upstairs. Uh. Rhea will be upstairs, and maybe Manuela as well. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt. And you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. I am proud. So very proud of who you have become. Wait a minute, Spartan King, did you say the other night you couldn't tip? But then when you looked into it, you said it was something to do with mobile. And when you tried to do it on another device, it worked. I could have sworn you just told me this the other day. You said it was something to do with something else that had nothing to do with me. Hmm. I'm uneasy. That is understandable. Just know that your unease should disappear the moment we conclude the ritual at the Holy Tomb. Alright, I want some faith training. Budding talent. Unit now excels in the faith skill. 
I love the ability white magic avo plus 20. I don't even know what the hell that means. Such power dwells within. Avo plus 20. Hmm. Ah, it is you. I am sorry, but I have a lot on my mind. I would prefer to be alone right now. No. Okay. Yeah, so he has on his mind is that he's, he's, he's suspecting Rhea isn't as transparent and honest as she should be, that actually she's the responsible for messed up stuff that's happened. Well. Based on reading Gerald's journal. Captain. Oh, Professor. How long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Ah, oh, shit. Cleaning out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. That's pretty sad, man. What's Flame doing here? Oh, Professor, I am so happy. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. Yes, yeah, we just she found out. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but hmm. Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Okay. Still got quite a few people to talk to. Well, hey. Manuela and Dorothea are both in here? The Holy Tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. Although, when the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? Hmm. I told you not everything is as it seems. I, I kind of knew that from the start. I was like, I get the feeling there's going to be some kind of a crazy twist. And I'm still standing by that statement. I think there's going to be a crazy twist somewhere, right? Hello, Cheerio Eater. Good evening. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? Not being distant, don't worry. I don't know what to say to that. Okay. Don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. That's it, that's it. That's it. Uh. Just hanging it around that 100 bit chair said, Hot take, we should hit the Visco late so he goes into overtime and we get more content. I already said I'm not going late tonight. Like, I'm. I'm the, when it hits around 9 15, that's it. I cannot go late. My wife is home tonight and we got plans and stuff we're doing tonight. So, so be it. If this is the end of the vest streak. Because we don't hit the Vesco by 9.15, that's the end of the Vestry. I, it's not a, a weeknight when she's working, and I could go later if I want. So, I would not recommend that unless you want to see the Vestry again. You're going to be very sad. Are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, huh. I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However... If that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the crest, that would be most, well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. Huh. Still, it would be an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. So, <laughs> close off. He wants a scientific explanation for an anime transformation? What? And then he wants me to take my clothes the off. The physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. No. Clothes off! No, I'm not taking my clothes off for this freaking guy. In fact, I'm calling the police on him. But anyway, he's basically looking for some kind of a scientific and logical explanation for, like, an anime-style transformation. Imagine if, like, doctors wanted to study Goku about why his hair spikes up when he goes Super Saiyan or something. <laughs> we want the explanation, Goku! 
We just can't, we can't, you know, you're flying around just shooting beams out of your ass. We know, we want to know what's going on. Is there extra gas in your system or something? Oh god, remember, imagine that's the explanation. That's why Goku always overeats because he loads up on gas. And he has methane gas built up in his, in his guts. And he farts so hard he flies. <laughs> it's just silent farts. He's flying, flying through the air like that. All right. Enough of that. <laughs> Why did I even have to think of this? Why did I even have to think of this shit? This is the history of Fodlin. Uh, is there anyone? It shows there's somebody else here. Who is it? Oh, this soldier here. All things considered, this year has been rather terrible. As far as the students are concerned, next month is the last one of the school year. Next month, we will hold the graduation ceremony, though it'll be an understandably subdued affair. This month, we ask that you carry out your duties as best you can to ensure that our students remain calm. Okay, then. Matured all cheered. He said, alert the vestries to Jeopardy. Well, we still got another 70 minutes, so not really. And we are about a third of the way to the tip's goal. So it's not freak out time or anything yet. It's uh, what's his name? To be L. honest, Lord. I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Yeah. Tomas was actually Solon. Mm. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You were a true ally, yes. The question I want to know is: Monica was always talking to. Edelgard. So Edelgard's already involved in this. I, I'm telling you, I still think Edelgard's the Flame Emperor. But I don't understand how or why. So that's my intention. I don't know. So that's my the intention. Most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. Insomniani Me is here and tipped me a $5 tip. I said, what's up, dude? What's going on, Insomniani Me? Good to see you tonight. Thank you for the support. Uh, enjoying... The plot of the game, although it is a little bit slow moving right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up. Kurosawa Kid she said, "What would you say is the closest to a perfect game you've ever played?" Oh man, I've given I've given a few like 9.75s over the years, haven't I? Like maybe two. I can't remember though. I've, I've played so many effing games over the years, I can't remember what games I gave the highest review scores to. I'm sure there's people out there who could easily reference that information for you and get you their answer. <clears throat> Mature adult said, are you going to have drinks with any of your subs or friends? What? How on earth would I have drinks with subs or friends? What are you talking about? I don't even understand that question. Okay. So we did all the second floor stuff. Did I miss? I think I missed a person. Or Open this door. I think I missed a person or two over here. Yeah, I didn't come over here. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach. Hmm. Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. Hmm, I As wonder. the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. Oh, uh, DSP Pepe, tonight dinner was amazing. Thank you for asking. Really had a great dinner tonight, because my wife being such a good cook. I'm very grateful for having a wife who's a good cook. You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? I don't know Sometimes yet. Sometimes our frail bodies <laughs> don't do well with excess power. So don't push yourself too hard. Okay, Albino, whatever you say. <laughs> what if she got a weird story for why she looks like that? She looks so different from everybody else. Alright. Well... We can't do okay. the choir this week because I used all my points on other stuff. Hmm. Cyril's over here. When I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I like the way it looks. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. Well. Maybe if I tried hard enough. If I thought real hard about it, I mean... 
But we're gonna find out. It has to be now. Now we, we were asking at the beginning of the game, why do some people have green hair and eyes and others don't? I think the answer is if you're touched by a god, or, or you know what I mean, if you have the power of a god in this game, somehow you get that. Um, or if you're in a lineage of someone maybe who is touched by a god, something like that, I would think. Uh, excuse me. That would be exciting, All wouldn't it? All need to do is get trapped up in a strange place and then escape, right? All right. Just like you did. Easy. Simple. <laughs> A moment, oh yeah, you also need the ability to cut interdimensionally. You may be kind of stuck if you if you don't have that. It's kind of an important thing. Professor. You know, <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in the other world. Oops. Okay. Why is this not open? Who's a better cook, me or cat? Are you shitting me? Cat's a way better cook than I am. I always knew there was something special about you. But you've only gotten more and more extraordinary the longer I've known you. That transformation was just the beginning, wasn't it? And I have a feeling that things will only grow more dire from here on out. Okay. Alright, three or more three notes for the counselor. Let's see what they are. The advice box. There's this drawing of what looks like a student throwing trash on the ground. Report this to the Archbishop. Add trash bins through the monastery. You like that, okay? When I was in the greenhouse earlier, a female student fled from me as in terror. Why'd she do that? I was only turning the flowers. Try making small talk when you see her next. Try making small talk when you see her next. He hated that. There are many citizens of the empire who are currently in despair. I think it's time for a change in leadership. Perhaps someone new should ascend the throne. Edelgar. Or if the Empire fell, you would do well as Ruder Fernand. He's gonna love that. Of course he loves that! <laughs> Egomaniac Ferdinand. Now before we talk to them, well, who is this? We'll talk to them. Oh, it's Annette? I don't even know who that is. Who are you? Ah, professor, sorry. You gave me a shock. Your hair and eye color are completely different. So you just don't look like yourself anymore. Blah! It's only the appearance that has changed. Of course, you're right. I'm just being silly as usual. So let's see if at the statues over here, right? Can I use them to accentuate anything or level anything up? Need something? I only have 700 points, so the answer is no. Everything is way more expensive, as you can see. So that is a big no. See you again soon. In reality, I don't even know how I got those points. I just got them naturally by playing the game. I don't actually know how I was getting them. So I'm supposed to go talk to Edelgar now. This is going to lead us to a critical story point, I believe. I feel Phil Trudy said it recently came to my attention. You've never had a sleepover. I'm taking a vacation in a few weeks. We're going to change the slumber party. Your house will be in Jasper. No cats allowed. Do you like the color? No, and you're not coming over because you're not allowed because I want to spend time with my family beside you. So stop it. I got it. Okay. I, I'm not reading that. It's disgusting. In fact, I'm banning this person immediately. I'm serious. Some people think they can get away with saying absolutely disgusting things. I'm just not putting up with it. So that's an easy block right there, you gross-ass person. That's right. Okay. Oh, shit. Where am I? Okay. So the only thing to do is talk to Edelgard, and apparently this is going to be a critical story choice. I don't know the correct answer. I don't know what's going to happen, depending on how I answer, so let's see what this is. Here we go. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. Okay. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. Where are we going? It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial Capital. There is something I must do there. Mm -hmm. This decision will drastically change the story. Ugh. Well, I don't know. The story will start splitting into two roots depending on your choices. Be careful you make the right one. Yeah, how am I supposed to know? I mean, obviously, they're supposed to be making you go with her because you're supposed to be, like, trusting her, befriending her. So that obviously is what you're supposed to do. 
But is there a twist if you don't? Does something happen to her? Does she end up dying? Or, or you know what I mean? She out of the story for an extended period of time because she didn't go with her and she disappears or something, you know? I don't know. Feg to me $10 says, don't go with that thought. <laughs> don't go with that thought. No. All right, well, Feg, hold on. You're the top tipper of the night. That's the Fire Emblem, uh, the Fire Emblem General. It's telling me not to go with her, which is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Let's see what people are saying. Follow the heart of the fill, the heart of the cards. She's your student. Yeah, why wouldn't you help your own student? Stay. Go. Oh, man. <laughs> Should I stay or should I go? Oh, hold on. We got we got a very important thing here. Mature adult just cheered 100 bits, he says. You know, a while back I suggested watering down your condiments, mustard in particular. Add five parts water to one part mustard for a mild peppery flavor. It tastes terrific and is a good way to save money. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Some people are saying, no, do not go. And some are saying to go. Fuck it. I'm gonna stay. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm staying. Damn. She disappeared. She disappeared. Ha ha ha. She got finger snapped from the game, dude. She got fucking finger snapped. She's done. She's gone from the game. Well then. Oh well. All right. Uh. That's right. I guess we're done. There's nothing else to do. There's no missions or anything to do this time, right? Yeah. There's nothing. Hello there. Let's just double check. Where's the, uh, the bulletin board? Yeah, nothing. Alright, we're done. Well, I have no idea what bearing this is going to have on the story now. I really have no idea. Alright, time for the manual instruction for the week. Here we go.